Is Poch a good fit for Chelsea in your mind? I think it's a golden opportunity for Chelsea to get in a guy that done really well at Southampton, terrific at, uh, uh, at Spurs and... Um, Strange job. PSG is a really hard one to judge because you can win things. You can win domestic cups and you know, you know, win the title. And I know Lille won the title the year he was there as well. Um, exit from the Champions League in an earlier stage. Uh, very difficult because PSG has proved year in year out that managing their superstars has been the trickiest hurdle. And he's a very good communicator. From everybody I've known and spoke to about Poch, he communicates really well with his players and his team. I think it's exactly what Chelsea need. Mm. They need a communicator. They need a guy that knows how to set up a team, get the best out of the younger players, sees an identity in his team. I think he'll do that, and I think he'll do it. Um, I, th- I think it's a golden opportunity for him. Look, Chelsea's a fantastic job. You know, there'd be many a people who'd want that job. And... Um, it's it's perfect for him. It's fitted well for both teams. Maybe this disastrous period has sort of give the the owners a bit of a kick up the backside. They've got to make a decision. They've had you know Lampard's come out, come in as interim manager, and it's not worked out. They've lost five games on off the out the bat. They've got to make a call. You've got to make it now before the end of the season, and then you prepare with the summer transfer targets and or whatever who's ins and outs. He's got lots of decisions to make, Poch. Mm. He needs to be in early because there's a, a lot of massive decisions to make at that football club. I've been following the vlogs and the, and the YouTubers who who represent and speak for for fan fan clubs, and um, a lot of them have been saying now that Chelsea, that the candidate that comes in should have one of uh, should have won the European Cup, as if that is a yeah. a, a born winner who's achieved in Europe. Uh, Pochettino hasn't done that but he's a well respected manager is he the manager to bring glory back to that club well it's hard to uh, think glory because you know how far are Chelsea behind Manchester City Mm -hmm. Um, are Man City going anywhere no so everybody's got a problem why Guardiola's in the Premier League okay everyone's got a problem because they've got the best squad, they have a style of play, uh, the manager's fearless in, at City, the, the way he sets his team up. So catch up with City is what everybody's trying to do. Uh, I think Poch is a guy that I think first I think first point of call is going to be getting a side that is going to get closer to an 11 we're going to sort of relate to. Because you, you look at the Chelsea team over the last, well, over the course of this season, it's been chop and change. Predicting the Chelsea eleven was the hardest eleven in the Premier League, mm. without a doubt. Mm. I think he will get back to a stable first eleven, maybe the odd in and out at times, but a, a side that he trusts and believes in. I think that's what he's got to try and achieve at Chelsea. Is there something in being able to manage the characters at Chelsea Football Club and having the experience of managing the characters at PSG? Is there a well, link there? There's a big difference between... Ego character. Well, PSG with, with Neymar, Mbappe, Lionel Messi, you know, these are the three of the greatest players that have played in the you know, last decade or so in mm. the world. And so... Um, Getting getting them to do things that maybe other players have not quite that standard is not the same obstacle. The mm-hmm. players at Chelsea, they've got look. Thiago Silva is a you know who's worked under Poch. You know, is a terrific player and a great leader. And I think that he will stabilise everything. And I do believe that he's the right man. I think it's a great signing for for Chelsea as a club. And um, look, Tottenham fans have keep taking Chelsea managers, ex Chelsea managers. It's, it's Chelsea's turn this time to take an ex Tottenham manager. It's properly stuck the knife into Tottenham after, well, after the week that they've had. I mean, a lot yeah. of the fans I was speaking to I was at Spurs um, for the United game on Thursday uh, for Talksport, and uh, they are hurt by that. They're hurt by the idea that Pochettino is going to go to to Chelsea. See, the one thing. That a lot of people don't I think is going to miss here is that we don't know the relationship between Daniel Levy and Poch apparently they're close I mean well no how close are they if they're that close and he was available surely Daniel Levy would have gone back to back to him but that's I, it go back go back where has going back got well, Chelsea at this moment in time you know they've gone back to Frank Lampard it's not worked Spurs are in real Spur- limbo mm. now Chelsea have obviously approached him and they've known that and they have they probably felt we're not going to win that battle so we're not going to get involved. But I, I don't sometimes believe the narrative of they're still... You know, when you sack somebody and you break from... Normally it doesn't end that well. So I'm not quite convinced that Daniel Levy and Poch are like, you know, that close. 